Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how do you simulate photovoltaic panel in MATLAB Swimming. This is the second video on this training on simulation and modeling of photovoltaic panel. The first tutorial was about the PV panel block on MATLAB Swimming. It was on the basic of this block how you can parameter this block and how you can use it in MATLAB swimming. This video, which is the second video, will be about connecting this block in MATLAB swimming with the different blocks to measure current and voltage in your simulation. We are going today to simulate like the circuit, which is composed with the PV panel block and with the input of the block, which are irradiation and temperature and the output of the block, which is which are the positive and the negative terminal and measurement of current and the measurement of voltage between the load of of the output of your project and we can also measure the measure the power so let's do that together let's start a new project by clicking her new project and implement the different component of the project which are the pivot panel constant for the input, display, current measurement, Siri LSC branch, voltage measurement, display for voltage, display for power, product to measure the, the power. Okay. Click on library browser and check search the PV array block, press enter. This is the block, take it in your library. We will also go to things. So we will take the display block. We will take also current Measurement, current M for measurement. Okay, this is the current measurement, take it. Also voltage measurement. This is the voltage measurement block. Also the power, power Q block. Press enter, take this block in your project. Also, uh, we need constant. RLC load. RLC branch. Take this one, okay, and let's connect the different block together. This is the the PV array, and we have the con two constant one for radiance and one for temperature. So press Control and to to do copy copy past. Connect this one with radiance and the second with temperature. For display, we have the display for the output, M output, which is a vector of five output, the voltage, the current, the current of diet, the radiance and temperature. We have to connect the positive terminal with the current measurements, okay? The load, 
with the current measurement, press Ctrl R to rotate. Okay. And close the circuit. Connect the voltage measurement in parallel. Do copy past of the display block for current. This one for current. Copy past for voltage. Okay. So for irradiance, we will use the standard conditions. 1000 watts per square meter. Click on OK. For temperature, it's 25 Celsius. Press Enter. For the PV module, let's select one module. OK, for the PV module, press double click on the PV array. OK, let's select just one module, one string and one serially connected module, and select, for example, one a specific manufacturer. Uh, for example, Trina Solar, if you want, with three, 310 watts. Press apply and press OK. Press OK. So for the load, this is RLC load. Press double click on the RLC load and select just resistor load and press OK. For the, the value of the resistance, let's calculate, calculate it after. Press OK. For the power, it's a block which is necessary to simulate like project in MATLAB Simulink. For the stop time, let's select, for example, just uh, one second. One second. Okay. And let's start the simulation. Press run to start the simulation. And here are the results. The results for the five values of the output, the voltage, the current, the current of the diet, the irradiance, and the temperature. We have uh, here uh, the volt, the current, which which is 8.8 .8 amps. The voltage is also 8.8 .8 amps. Okay, to get the value in the in your PV module, you have to well calculate the resistance. Okay, for the PV module, the parameters are double click on the block PV module. So to calculate the resistance, you have just to calculate the voltage divided by the current, which is 37 divided by 8.38 38 amps. Let's calculate that in MATLAB. 37 divided by 37 divided by 8.38. Thirty eight enter. So the resistance is about four point four ohm. Okay, click OK. Go to the simulink. Click on the resistance. This is four point point four and press press OK. Start the simulation again.
and these are the value. The value for voltage is 36.8 volts. It's the same with the value in the nameplate of the PV module. Double click on the PV panel, the PV array block to see the value. Okay, so for the voltage, it's almost the same. For the current, almost the, the same. Okay, so to calculate the power, let's insert a product block. This is the product. Take this block and take one from the current and one from the, the voltage and take one display display block to get the voltage okay so select again the run run block so the power is about 300 9 what let's verify that is about 300 hundred ten what it's the same so the difference is just in the value of the resistance that we have used it's about 4.415 um let's do that one five click okay and restart the simulation so it's about it's almost the same value which is in the in the pv module parameters so uh, this simulation is also for beginner student. We'll I will provide you in the next video some interesting simulation how to use uh, your solar panel block in advanced simulation.